Hey guys, it's Mango2468, and today I'm going to teach you how to build this, um, hidden, flush with the ground, redstone, piston door. <clears throat> so, here's also one, like, this is how it looks like when it's, uh, flush with the ground, all the guts hidden. Yeah, this is all the guts of the redstone. And I'll go with you step by step how to do this. So, I'm going to have another tutorial of me building this in survival, actually. But right now, I'm just going to build this in a creative world. So, you kind of so you don't get confused with everything else underground. Alright? So, just pretend this is the surface level. Alright? And the first part of doing this is you have to... Um, the first part we're going to have to do is build the actual opening of the ground. So, I'm going to use red to kind of differentiate what... Uh, what does what? So as you can see, the red here is just the opening of the door. It's just this redstone here. This system right here with the red opens the door. And then the blue is uh, it's like a kill switch, which stops this white one. And the white is the actual staircase. You'll see what I mean. So first, we need to have this door open. And I like having a 4x2 area like this you know and you just dig down until you get around uh, the piston like this here I'll show you like this uh, actually one lower like that right see this and uh, this, what what will go on top of this sticky piston is like dirt, so it could um close up actually. And you're gonna come underneath, and you're gonna have this as your floor. So it could be whatever. In this case, uh, it's stone brick. So I'm just gonna borrow these stone bricks right here, and then I'm gonna put them down like this. And then I'm gonna use this red because this is act. This red is gonna be part of the circuitry. Like this. And you just want to do that. And as you can see, it's kind of closed. We just need uh, something to... Um, so that when they, it closes, it could pull it off to the side. So you're going to have to have pistons like this. Just follow along. And then like this. Alright, now that you have that, let's start wiring it up. So, this is Bedrock Edition, by the way. So, this is going to be a little bit different, depending on what edition you are. If you're on Java Edition, this will not work for you. Alright. Bedrock Edition, you're going to wire these pistons like this. But if you're on Java Edition, this is not going to work out for you. You're going to need to give a direct signal like that. But since we're on bedrock, just follow what I'm doing. I'm gonna have this, something like that. Uh, a redstone torch. All right, and you do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And you put this to pinch the circuit so it could go up. And there you go. This pretty much, um, the 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 system that will pull the pistons from the side. Now you need to retract. You're gonna have to put these repeaters here, so these right here could retract. All right, see that? Pretty good. And then you just put a redstone dust like this, redstone dust like this. And this is important. You're gonna have to make a hole right here. Uh oh. Look, uh, it is just another build, but ignore that. that. That wasn't there. You have to make a hole like this, and you're going to have to put two redstone dust like that. The reason being is because you don't want this redstone repeater to lock this in place. Like, if you do this like this, it's just going to get stuck. Um, like, like, I'm going to put this, and then when I break this, it's just going to be jammed, and you don't want that. You want it to be like this. So as soon as you turn it off, it just turns off. 
All right. <clears throat> now, after you do this, you want to have a repeater here on this one. You also want to have a repeater one uh, on this one right here. I'm actually going to use red so we don't get confused. And it's going to be on full delay. Now, all right. Just have the redstone dust like here, here, here. And redstone dust right here. All right. Mm, actually, yeah, yeah, this is fine. Like this. Like that. You're going to have something like that, all right? And then like this. Now, if you were to flip this lever, I'm going to go pull a lever right now. Let me find one. Here it is. Um. Oh, right. Make sure this is a repeater so it could go through here and it could go down here. Everything should retract. And that's your first part. As you can see here, you just basically made a um, hole, <laughs> uh, a hidden hole, which this is fine, you know, like if you want a hidden hole, that's good. And you can go down here, but we just, if you want the cool little staircase part, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. This is going to be a little more complicated, but it's nothing you shouldn't be able to let like, you know, handle. Um, just follow what I'm doing. What you need to do is you're going to need to make a something called T flip flop. And that's going to alternate between this and the staircase. And first we're going to make the staircase, which what I want you to do is I want you to open up the hole here and we're going to start working on the actual staircase part, depending on where you want it. I, I think you want it to go down that way. It's what I would recommend. So from over here, um, you start working on this side. Now, you want to get whatever kind of stairs you want. I'm going to pick, uh, let me see. I'm going to pick stone stairs. You know, I like, I like how they look. And then you just want to do this like that, like that, like that. And there, um, you could put a block back here and then just put the sticky pistons, but I don't know. I guess I like making my life a little difficult. So, um, you're going to have pistons like this, like this, uh, break this one like that. And you're going to have another one like this, like so. Yep. And as you can see here, we're going to have to make this into a double piston extender. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So, first of all, what you want to do, I'm going to borrow this white block, this white wall here, and this is going to be for this circuit, the the retractable, um, you know, staircase. I'll show you right now. So, just have uh, your block like this. All right. And then what you want to have is, uh, let me think, this one two like this and I, I want them all on full delay that's what you that's where you want it to be full delay on both of these and a full delay on this one as well and then extend these like that and then so you want you want something like this basically mm -hmm. again um, you also want to take this one off So now that you've done this, you want a, uh, make sure you put a block underneath these stairs. Mm -hmm. And then you also put a wool like this and you put wool like this too. All right. Recap. So we don't confuse. You want something like this right now. You know, zoom out. Back up. All right. Make sure you have redstone dust like this. Make sure this this redstone dust is not touching this one. This is also why I put this down because like redstone can't pass through stair blocks, um, so it won't be able to push the piston. Now, uh, what I need you to do now is make sure that this is open. Make sure this is still open 
Because we're going to test it right now. This is how we're going to test it. Again, remember, this is Bedrock Edition. So, this won't work on Java Edition. You need some kind of a... You need repeaters to have this to work. <laughs> this is like... This does not work on Bedrock. At, um, I mean, Java Edition at all. So, check it out. Alright, so we're going to have a lever here. Flip it. As you can see, it's working. Mm -hmm. And you can just go ahead and retract that. Now... Uh, what you want to do now is, uh, you're going to want to leech off of this redstone circuit. So, <clears throat> what you're going to do now is go on this side and then put a redstone, uh, repeater on full delay like this, and then just go all the way over here. Until it, you know, pretty much anywhere here is fine. Or actually, to make it easier for you, um, for both of us, I need you to do this. Um, hold on, let me put a... Right, so, put a repeater right here. Right there. Okay, and then, rest on this like that. Press something like, like this. Sorry about that, yeah. Okay. Just like that. Actually like that. That's better. Alright, like this. I want you to be I want you to have it like this. And put a block like that. Like this. And then just have this white go all the way over here. Let me just make sure that this doesn't exceed uh two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit short, so. Right, okay. It barely reaches, and it, it, the only reason why this would not reach work is because this is, in, um, redstone only reaches 15. So if it doesn't work out, just put redstone dust like this. And you could put it, like, right here. That's if it doesn't reach there, of course. But you just want this to go here, but with a full delay right here, if that makes sense. <clears throat> now that we have both systems ready, we have the stairs, and we have the thing that opens the floor, we're going to have to time them now. And this is going to be a little tricky, but just follow along. I don't know too much of redstone logic, so that I could just do this in one. I need some kind of alternator. That That's the way I do it. You're gonna need a, something called the T flip flop. Uh, so we're just gonna have a something called the kill switch. I think that, that's what I call it. It just kills the circuit. Um, so just get a <laughs> just get a redstone uh, a sticky piston and put it like that. And then I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna use blue. I'm just gonna leech it off from here. Take this. Uh, then put a redstone torch like that. All right. Now this will go along all the way from over here. Make sure it doesn't touch any other things. All right. And then you could stop right here because uh, right now we're going to make the T flip flop. And I'll show you how that what that is. Because, um, yeah. It's very simple to make. All you need is... A few drop um, droppers, like three of them, like this, and you're gonna need to follow exactly what I do. All right. <clears throat> okay, so to build this uh, T flip flop, all you want to do is put uh, a red uh, dropper like this, one up like this, a dropper facing that way, and a hopper like down like that. Now what you want to do is um, look at this visual, rep, um, you know, representation of that. The arrow signify where the dropper is facing. This one goes inside there, one like that, and then up like that. Just so you don't get confused. If you want, just you know, copy it like this, but this way. All right, if that makes any sense. Now what you want to do is you want to get comparators. Um, here, I'll grab a comparator. 
where is it? Comparator right here. And you want to have one this way. And you want to have one here. Now, remember that this lever's still on. And that's good because we're going to have to shut this off right now. Make sure your item is right. Uh, you have some kind of item in this dropper. In this case, I'm just going to use one redstone dust. And put a repeater like that. And make sure that it reaches the kill switch. And it does. If it doesn't, simply just, uh, I don't know, put another one. <laughs> and then, as you can see, the stairs are not powered anymore. So you could go ahead and turn this off. And this is pretty much it. Now we just need this to turn on when it switches. So, what you want to do is have 13 ticks, including this one, turning this on. So, put this full delay. Put another one. Put a redstone dust like this. And then put one more right here. And as you can see, this is a total of uh, 13 ticks. So, 4, 8, 12, <clears throat> 13 with this one. No delay. These full delay. Alright. And this pretty much is your build. Now, let's try it out. Put a button right here. Click it, opens up, and then the stairs pop out. And as you can see, when you push the button, the rest of this will go to this dropper, turning on the kill switch, and it'll turn this off immediately. And then after it does that, it this unpowers after 13 ticks, as you can see here. Kill switch on, unpowers, and then it just opens up. Pretty easy. Now just wiring this thing. Mm. You could wire this however you want. This is basically all underneath, all underneath the surface. So you could have a button. Um, you want to have a redstone repeater like this. And then you could have a, I'm just gonna use something else. Black, I use black as the wiring. You could have this up to wherever, um, pretty much like, you know, a button right here. And then when you're down here in close, I'm just gonna walk up here. It's the same thing. You just want a button that leads all the way up to this, uh, to this. Just like here. I could put a button down here and it'll go here, like that. Just make sure that this does not interfere with any of this redstone right here. Look. I hope this makes sense. I will also make a um, video building this in survival mode so you can have a better idea of how to build it. But this is just a rough idea of how to build this uh, redstone door. If you have any questions down below in the comments, please let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to answer anything. I know it's a little complicated, but like, I don't know. I, I don't really make too much like, this is like the biggest redstone tutorial I've ever done. So if you guys, you know, have any concerns, comments, questions, Anything, criticism on my tutorial, it's fine. Uh, just leave it down in the comments. And thank you for watching.